Now this is a higher order sort preparation question where the starting reagent that the question requires you to use is not suitable for preparing that particular sort. Now what do I mean by that? For example, when we look at copper 2 sulfate, now copper 2 sulfate is a soluble non-spa sort. So we would require the use of the excess method uh, in preparing copper 2 sulfate. And we have learned that for the excess method, we need to mix or uh, we need to react an acid with excess of an insoluble solid. Okay? In most cases, the excess insoluble solid can be a reactive metal, a carbonate, or a base. Now, in this case, the question requires you to use copper. Right? So we have learned earlier in acids and bases that copper is an unreactive um, metal. So it doesn't react with acid. If it doesn't react with acid, we cannot use it to prepare copper 2 sulfate. So in order for us to prepare copper 2 sulfate, starting from copper, we must first convert copper into a suitable starting reagent. Okay, so to know what we can convert it into, we need to first ask ourselves, if copper is out, what other solids can we add to react with an acid to get copper 2 sulfate? So in this case, we are left with two options. We can either react the carbonate, so we react copper 2 carbonate, or we can react the base or the oxide, copper 2 oxide. So in this case, we need to ask ourselves, can we, is there any reaction where we can convert copper to copper 2 carbonate? The answer is no. Now, are there any reactions th that we can convert copper to copper 2 oxide? Now, the answer now is yes. So what can we do is that we can actually heat copper in air. Okay, when we heat copper in air, it will actually react, copper will actually react with the oxygen in air to form copper 2 oxide. Okay, so in order to prepare copper 2 sulfate, starting with copper, we must first convert copper into a suitable starting reagent in the form of copper 2 oxide. And how exactly do we do that is by heating copper to, uh, sorry, copper solid, copper metal in air. Now for this question, um, due to the phrasing of the question, there's no need for you to list the steps. All you need to say is that you heat copper metal in air to convert it to copper 2 oxide and then you add excess copper 2 oxide to sulfuric acid in order to prepare the salt. That is sufficient for this question. Now similarly for part B, if we take a look at the salt, the salt here is lead sulfate. Lead 2 sulfate is an insoluble salt so we need to use the precipitation method and in the precipitation method we need to mix two solutions. That means your starting reagents must be both soluble. However, in this question they require you to start with lead 2 carbonate and we have learned that all carbonates except for spa carbonates are insoluble. So once again if we start with copper. Uh, we start with lead two carbonate, and we want to use it to prepare lead two sulfate. We must first convert it again to a suitable starting reagent. So, what would be a suitable starting reagent to prepare lead two sulfate? Is that we mix lead two something that is soluble with something sulfate that is soluble. Okay, and earlier we have also learned that if um, we can choose any, any um, reagents to start with, we will always choose the nitrate, lead 2 nitrate, because we know that lead 2 nitrate is always soluble and sodium sulfate. So right now, we, the, the thing that we need to consider is that how can we convert lead 2 carbonate into lead 2 nitrate? Okay, if you cannot immediately think of a method, you need to think of this. 
what can carbonate react with? So in our syllabus, did we learn any reaction involving carbonates? Now, we didn't learn any reactions involving carbonates per se, all right, but we have learned that acids can react with carbonates. Okay, so that would give you a clue that we need to react lead to carbonate with a suitable acid to produce lead to nitrate. And if it's still not obvious by now, the acid that we should be using would be nitric acid. So the answer to this part would be that we need to first react lead to sulfate, sorry, lead to carbonate with nitric acid. Okay, that would produce lead to nitrate. Okay, I'm not going to balance the equation. I'm just telling you that we first we need to react lead carbonate with nitric acid to convert it into the nitrate. Okay, then subsequently we'll react the we'll mix the lead to nitrate with your sodium sulfate. And that would give us our desired salt, which is lead sulfate. Okay, so uh, as earlier mentioned, there's no need for you to list down the procedure. In this case, they only want to know what is the necessary modification to the starting material that you need to make before you can react with the recommended reagents.